podcast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. A really pretty nice day out there. Winds light out of the northeast, a little milky cirrus cloudiness around. May dim the sun just a hair at times. You may even notice a little ring around the sun this afternoon, a little halo caused by some of that cirrus cloudiness. But certainly the clouds will tend to thin out even more through the evening hours. And tomorrow's looking to be a mostly sunny day, even though a little cirrus cloudiness may hang on. Still going to be nice. And again, this evening is nice. Temperatures running mid to upper 60s area wide from 64 at Peru to 66 in Remington and 67 at Attica. We are still right on schedule to get a prolonged rain event. But the good news is, first of all, it's slowing down a little bit. So we may ink out another couple of nice days beginning tomorrow. Also, uh, it's not going to fall solid for the entire time. It looks like it's going to fall in three distinct waves of steady rainfall that will pinpoint coming up. Then after that goes through, a little cool down early next week. In fact, we may get three nights with some frost, perhaps a very light freeze in parts of the area before another round of some soaking rain may arrive as we get into the first three to five days of May. But lows tonight running upper 30s in our northeast counties from Rochester down to Kokomo, 39 Monticello, Monon, Burlington to 40 in Lafayette and Fowler, as well as Boswell and about 41 at Attica. And a nice day tomorrow, a lot of sunshine, winds light out of the north and the northeast, 66 Rochester and Logansport, 68 in Lafayette and about 69 at Attica. And then tomorrow night, again, another cool night. Temps running as low as the mid-30s. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a few patches of frost here in Fulton and Miami County tomorrow night. 37 Burlington, 39 Monticello, and once again about 40 Lafayette, Oxford, as well as Fowler. So let's pinpoint this rainfall headed our way. First of all, Notice the rain slowing down for Thursday. Even though the clouds may increase somewhat during the afternoon, rain's going to slow down. Highs running about 66 degrees. Winds generally out of the east and the northeast around our high. But here comes some of the rain on Friday. This will be the first round of rain headed our way. This first wave coming through. Pretty steady rain, perhaps a few embedded thunderstorms on Friday. And it looks like it's going to last right now, 7 a.m. to about 2 p.m. as this first wave pushes through. And we could get a good half to one inch of rain out of this. Then likely a break later on Friday before the second wave of rain arrives, Saturday early morning through Saturday early afternoon. But the good news is after a half to one inch of additional rainfall Saturday morning, early afternoon, late Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, we might get a break. For all the festivities in Lafayette this weekend. So that's some good news there. And then there's the final wave of rain that'll come through Saturday night and early Sunday morning with another half to one inch of rain, then just a few showers hanging on Sunday into Monday. So three distinct significant waves of rain on the way with overnight lows by early next week running in the 30s. Mostly clear, chilly tonight, down to 40 degrees. Tomorrow, 68 for the high, 66 on Thursday. Clouds will be on the, on the increase, especially Thursday. And then there's that rainfall headed in Friday, Saturday, before it tends to taper to more of a scattered shower regime Sunday into Monday. But cooler highs, in fact, some frost possible early next week, Jeff. So there's some good news in the forecast, but bad news is we're still looking at one and a half to three inches of rain total from this. Okay, and you wanted to say hello to somebody you met over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, I had a really good day at the pancake breakfast at the Purdue University Airport, talked to all the pilots over there, and also the international students at the International Center on Purdue's campus. Okay. Had a great time. Thanks, Chad. We'll okay. see you at 6 o'clock coming up in this half hour. Find out why the American diet is considered to be a dangerous diet.